Welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the king of the market, Bitcoin, coin to trading above $16,000. If you're a long-term investor, if you believe you're going to be holding Bitcoin for the long term, it's right now that the best time to start accumulating some Bitcoin in the bear market. We have seen Bitcoin drop from as high as $69,000 in November 2021. Bitcoin has dropped to as low as $15,400 in the bear market of 2022. Should we start dollar cost averaging heavy into Bitcoin right now or should we be waiting for lower prices? In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Bitcoin US dollar price chart. We'll also be looking at Bitcoin's 365 day moving average equals to buying Bitcoin every day for the last one year. We'll also be looking at Bitcoin's 730 day moving average, 1095 day moving average equals to buying Bitcoin over three years. I'll also be looking at what your average price would be if you have been buying Bitcoin for the last four years, five years, six years. And even the last seven years, we'll also be looking at Bitcoin's market cap to see how high it can go by the end of the next bull run. Bitcoin's market cap gone to an all-time high of over $1.25 trillion in 2021. The Fibonacci retracement tool accurately predicted that. So how high will Bitcoin go by the end of the next bull run? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. If you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Bitcoin is currently trading above $16,000 deep in the bear market of 2022. All coins are down really bad. In the last one year, Bitcoin, the king of the market, has gone from as high as $56,600 in late November 2021 to as low as $15,400 in November 2022. The last one year has been brutal to Bitcoin holders. Bitcoin is down 71.4% in the last one year. Right now, Bitcoin is currently trading deep in the bear market. Should we begin heavy accumulation or should we be waiting for lower prices? Guys, I personally believe we are closer to the bottom than we are to the top. Right now, for Bitcoin to go back to the previous all-time high, Bitcoin will have to go up over 323%. But even if Bitcoin goes below $10,000, as a lot of people are predicting in the market, Bitcoin will just have to fall another 33% which is very, very normal if you have been holding Bitcoin for a very long time. We have seen Bitcoin fall 33, 40, even as high as 70%, and Bitcoin recovered all those losses and went to set new all-time high. For example, during the COVID sell-off from the 13th of February 2020 till the 18th of March 2020, we saw Bitcoin fall 62% in just a 30-day period. What happened after that was glorious because Bitcoin went from as low as $4,000, pumping straight to as high as $69,000, and all it took Bitcoin was 608 days to get there. So if you want to make money long term holding or investing in Bitcoin, you have to be willing to do the work when Bitcoin is down really bad. The first moving average we'll be looking at is Bitcoin 365 day moving average. It means if you are buying Bitcoin every day for the last 365 days, what will your average price be? Now, according to this moving average, if you have been buying Bitcoin every day for the last 365 days, your average buy price will be around $31,000. So right now, you will be in more than a 40% loss. Now, if you have been buying Bitcoin for the last two years every day, judiciously, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, what will your average price be in the last 730 days? Buying Bitcoin every day would have given you an average price of over $38,000. So right now, Bitcoin holders are deep in losses in the bear market. But if you're a long-term investor, this is the best time to start accumulating Bitcoin. Because guys, if we go to the next moving average, that's Bitcoin's 1,095-day moving average, we equals to buying Bitcoin every day for the last three years. Bitcoin's average price, if you have been buying Bitcoin every day for the last three years, it's around $28,623. These are crazy figures. It's very, very important for you to be accumulating Bitcoin right now because, guys, we might not see Bitcoin below all these important moving averages for a very long time. If we go a step further and say 
what would have happened if you have been buying bitcoin every day for the last four years so in the last 1460 days if you have been digitally buying bitcoin every day and dollar cost averaging guys your average price would have been twenty three thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars you would have still been in loss but if you're holding bitcoin for the last five years and buying every day what will your average price be your average price if you have been buying bitcoin digitally every day for the last five years will have been twenty thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars and we can see that bitcoin had a little time just hovering around that moving average we finally broke through when ftx imploded taking bitcoin to as low as fifteen thousand four hundred dollars but guys if you're a long-time investor this might be the opportunity of a lifetime even during the COVID sell-off we only saw Bitcoin come back to test this moving average just once and that was short-lived. And if you take a look at Bitcoin's previous price history, that was the first time in 2020 where Bitcoin was touching that moving average since 2015. So it took Bitcoin five years to come back to touch that moving average. But luckily for us, Bitcoin is back below the five-year moving average. Bitcoin is currently trading below 20,200. So if you have been buying Bitcoin digitally every day for the last five years, you would have still been in loss. Now, let's take it a step further and say what would have happened if you have been dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin for the last six years. Bitcoin, surprisingly, is below a six-year moving average. So if you have been buying Bitcoin every day for the last six years, guys, the bear market is very crazy. You would have still been in a loss. The last time we saw Bitcoin even get as close as trading around is 2190 day moving average it was during the covid sell-off and that time during the covid sell-off that moving average was at three thousand six hundred and eighty four dollars bitcoin got to as low as four thousand dollars and for the mama jama where i believe bitcoin my bottom out in this bear market is bitcoin's 2555 day moving average which equals to buying bitcoin every day for the last five years your average buy price would have been fourteen thousand nine hundred and fifty eight dollars and probably that might be the bear market bottom for Bitcoin. This is why you're having an opportunity of a lifetime right now. If you're a long-term investor, if you are willing to hold Bitcoin for the long haul, the green line represented right here is Bitcoin's 2,550-day moving average. It's currently at $14,958. There's a very strong chance Bitcoin might drop that low in this bear market. For Bitcoin to get there, we just have to see Bitcoin drop another 8%. And that can happen very, very quickly. That can happen in 24 hours. We know how Bitcoin is volatile. If we take a look at Bitcoin's market cap, the Fibonacci retracement tool accurately predicted where Bitcoin would top in 2021. After Bitcoin topped in 2018, when we saw it get to as high as $340 billion on its market cap, it dropped in the bear market, dropping to as low as $55 billion. But the Fibonacci retracement tool already told us that Bitcoin has the capacity to get above $1 trillion. Right now, we're trying to use the Fibonacci retracement tool to see how high Bitcoin's market cap will go. If we're accumulating some Bitcoin in the bear market, if Bitcoin is coming to touch its 2,555 day moving average for the first time in Bitcoin's history, guys, we have to accurately see where Bitcoin can go in the future. And using the Fibonacci retracement tool, Bitcoin's market cap can get to as high as over $4.6 trillion by the end of the next bull run. If Bitcoin doesn't go any lower in this bear market, if the bear market bottom turns out to be around the $294 billion region for Bitcoin's market cap, Bitcoin market cap can go to as high as $4 trillion by the end of the next Bitcoin bull market. Take a look at what the Fibonacci retracement tool predicted in the previous bull run. It accurately predicted Bitcoin stop. So will this Fibonacci retracement tool be right the next time? Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Are you buying more Bitcoin right now deep in the bear market? Will you keep dollar cost averaging as this is the opportunity of a lifetime? Even if you have been dollar cost averaging to Bitcoin for the last one year, two years, three years, yes, you're in some losses right now. But if you're thinking long term, right now is the time to double your hustle. Right now is the time to ask yourself, will I go all in or will I be waiting for lower prices? Because I believe we're closer to the bottom than we are to the top. You have to make that decision for yourself. But guys, Bitcoin will rise again. Bitcoin will see new all-time highs in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.